Look at our pups. Aren't they just perfect? <laughs> yes. We've made some fine pups. They'll be a great addition to the pack. I do worry, though, about Kyra's ability to hunt. She'll be fine. And she has Nova to look after her. <laughs> All right. And she's very smart. She'll figure out ways around it. You have nothing to worry about. The pack works as one. And we protect each other, no matter what. I know, love. But I still worry. Nova is a good sister, though. This is our first litter. I know how you feel. But no harm will come to our pups. I'll make sure of it. You're such a good alpha. And a wonderful father. I'll try not to worry so much. However, our pack is on the small side. This is true. But for now, what we have will have to do. In the coming year, when the pups are older, we can seek out new pack members. I agree. Let's focus on the girls and little Orion for now. Gotcha! <laughs> That's no fair! You know this is my bad side! Orion, you just caught us by surprise! Let's have a real fight and see who wins! <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, Nova. You're too tough for me. You are right there. <laughs> That's true, and I wouldn't want to hurt you. <laughs> All right, pups, you finally ready for a decent meal? Yes! yes. Well, today you're finally going to get it, because we're going on a hunt. Yes, and today will be Talon's first hunt, so wish him luck. Talon, are you excited? I wish I could go on a hunt, too. Oh, I'm really excited, but a little nervous, too. I've been around the territory, but that's about it. Don't worry, Talon. You'll be fine. And Melville will be here to lead us. He's a great hunter with a lot of experience. I know you're complimenting me and also making fun of my age. <laughs> but yes, Talon will do fine. I won't let anything bad happen to him. Just stick with the pack and work as one and you'll be fine. Stick to the pack. Got it! Psst, hey, guys? I feel like this hunt isn't gonna go very well. Well, don't tell Talon that. You'll only worry him. What do you mean, you feel like it won't go well? Uh, I can't explain it. It's like I can kind of see what's gonna happen. It won't be good. I think that feeling is just your stomach telling you you're hungry. I got faith in the little guy. I could be wrong. You're usually right with these things, though. I guess we'll find out. Phantom, Nix, Tala, you stay at the rear. Echo, Talon, and Laika, keep up with me. We'll go for a straight-on run at her. If we need to, we'll circle up. But not until I say so. Talon! Slow down, pup! Talon! Fall back with us! Mm, stupid pup! Come back! You're gonna get kicked! Talon, wait for us! Back, wait here. I'll get it. The hunt is off! Talon, stop! You're not working with the pack! Watch for the doe's legs! What were you-
were you thinking? What were you thinking, you flea biter? You could have gotten yourself or Mavu hurt. Calm down, Laika. Mavu is okay. Helen is just a pup. Oh, you better watch it, girly. Because unlike you, I care about the oldest member of our pack and not some loner's pup. Hey, Laika, don't be so harsh. I mean, I, of course, I agree with you, but, you know, just don't be so harsh on him. Echo, you're not helping. Instead of arguing, why don't we make our way back home? All right, let's go. Mauvo and Talon can talk it out between themselves. Fine, but when Opal hears about how her father was almost destroyed by this deer- He wasn't almost destroyed. It's a small kick. Mavu is strong. Just <clears> stop <throat> this, please, Guys, Laika. please. Mavu, I'm really sorry. Tell him, my child, it's okay. We all make mistakes. It's just important that we learn from them. But that deer could have killed you. They all said so. I'm awful. Talon, please listen to me. Laika is overdramatic. The doe's leg barely got my jaw, and I knew the risk when I went after you. It's what a pack does. We fight for each other and risk our lives for each other. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I was just so excited to go on my first hunt. I understand. We all are, and today, your excitement got the better of you. But we learned a lesson today. You learned that it's important to stick with the pack, and now you know what can happen if you don't. I learned the hard way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we both did. I promise I'll rip out the throat of every deer I see! I see we have another lesson to learn. Why do you think we hunt the deer? Uh, to eat and survive? Correct. And why do you think the doe ran and kicked me? To survive. Hmm. Yes, exactly. We don't take revenge because the doe kicked me. She only did what she needed to. The doe knows we hunt her to survive. And we know she runs to survive. Understand? Don't live with hate in your heart, pup. Yes, Malvu. I guess I have a lot to learn. We are all still learning. And we'll all help you along the way. But what will we tell Hyde and Opal? They'll be so mad at me. Don't worry. They won't be upset with you. Accidents happen. My daughter is a very kind and understanding she-wolf, and Hyde can be intimidating at times, but he has a good heart. Oh, you're all back. So, how did the hunt go? Not very well, I'm afraid. Well, we had some trouble, but we're all fine. Fine? We're not all fine. Mavu took a hoof to the face. What happened? Tell me why my pack goes hungry. It's all Talon's fault. Hush. It's no one's fault. It was his first hunt. No one's first hunt is perfect. A doe kicked me. I'm fine. We lived. It's okay. Well, that scar makes you look more distinguished. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. I'm glad you're alright, Mavu. But I'm going to lead the next hunt. And Talon will stay with the pups. No, he will join us. A mistake is a lesson. He will learn and become a great hunter. There is no need to be upset with him. Not every hunt will be a success. Even for seasoned hunters. 
My mate is right. Each mistake is an opportunity to learn. And I'm sure Talon will take this day in and learn from it. I will, I promise. We know you will. Now don't worry about this. Why don't you go ahead and get some rest? Wise words. Come now, pups. Who wants to hear a story? What kind of story would you like to hear, pups? We want a scary story. Tell us about the one with the evil shadow wolf. A happy story about a wolf who sleeps in the sunbeams. I think I'd rather hear a happy story. No, tell us a scary one, Grandpa. Okay, okay. It won't be too scary. <clears throat> there is a wolf who lives in the shadows. He swallows pups whole when they misbehave. I thought you said it wouldn't be too scary. Shh! He's black like the night and walks quietly like an owl flies. His face is a horrid skull with scratches all over. And he... Does he have bat wings? And glowing red eyes? And breathes fire? And a snake for a tail? What? Sounds scary to me. <laughs> oh no, pups. He's a wolf like you or I. But something went wrong. It became something of hate and spite. It said that his mother loved him so, but his father did not. And so he slashed his skull so hard that the fur melted off. It said that he has a powerful magic, but the magic was stolen. We don't know where he stole it from, but the rightful owners are dying. Without it, and one day, there'll be no more. So a hero must go and save them. All right, Father. I think that's enough ghost stories for one day, wouldn't you agree? Oh, Mom! It was just getting good! We're ready for bed now! Now you three need to go to sleep. Rest, Tala. I'll talk to him. Your mind seems clouded today. Is something bothering you? <sighs> More so than usual. My dreams of becoming more consistent and lifelike. Darker as well. Would you like to talk about them? Yes, thank you. I usually burden Tala with my dreams and visions, but... I feel... awful for making him worry about me so much. I know. She looked tired, so I let her rest so I could come out to speak with you. So, tell me what's on your mind. Well, my dreams, or, um, visions, as I've come to call them, have become more and more consistent, and I'm honestly worried by them. Before, I would get them for simple things, like earlier today. I saw what would happen with Talon and the Hunt. Not all of it, but pieces of it were shown to me. This dream I just had, it was so 
dark. I could feel something trying to get me. At first, there was a voice calling me. A soft and kind voice. A voice I've never heard before. But then, there was another voice. One that was dark. Menacing. It was calling me, but not like it wanted me to join it. More like it wanted me so it could destroy me. What do you mean by destroy you? Like, kill you? And that's what it felt like. I'm... I'm just so confused, Opal. My dreams feel so real, and I'm afraid of what can happen to me in them. Even though I know it's just a dream, I feel like I'm fighting for my life. Phantom, you know if you ever need us, we're here for you. I'll be fine. I think I'll go for a walk, though. Sounds good. You take care. But while you're out, can you patrol the west border? Of course. I won't be gone long, so don't wait up. Another vision, huh? What was it this time? He said he was drowning and two voices were calling to him. He seemed very upset by it. I'm worried about him, Hyde. I really am. Worried? What for? Was his vision a sign of danger? I don't know. But I trust his visions. Even if he's unsure about them. Whatever it was about can't be good. I see what you mean. Well, we can do all we can for him. But it's up to him to accept the help. <sighs> I know, I know. I wouldn't worry. He'll be okay. He's with us. His pack. His family. And we'll protect him from any voices. Thank you.